How does a pentatonics project come together? I think people will find that really interesting. We get this question often, just especially the arranging process. We get that probably the most. Um, it usually starts as us getting together, throwing ideas out on a cover, like can you feel the love tonight as an example we were in we were on tour we were like in a dressing room and we're throwing out ideas kind of singing our parts through who should sing solo where kind of doing that and it's like this messy but beautiful <laughs> like mm -hmm. voice memo and that we'll have together and then we'll send that off to ben usually and he'll like sift through it and then we'll he'll clean it up a bit and then we'll like put it in on paper and we'll go in and arrange it actually arrange it with him and then we'll record it at his studio one at one at a time just go in record mm -hmm. it and add parts and then Ed Boyer, who's in, in oh. the best in the best yep. for yep. Acapella Mixer. Mixer in general, he's been, he does, he's doing a lot of stuff. Like he just did Scott's EP, he just dropped. And uh, like he's, he's, he's really good. <laughs> I'm excited to see him like his band too. Like he not is. just Acapella, he's, um, so he's a beast. You probably haven't heard of us yet. I'm in a group of four bass singers called The Bass Gang. And we started, oh, we word. started making stuff during the pandemic. We're actually meeting up in the Czech Republic in a couple of weeks for the first time ever to shoot oh my these gosh. videos. Very exciting exciting and so we we have you know we're getting a following and we're making money on patreon so now we have some funds and so we're act we've actually been using ed for oh, some of wow. our projects recently and it really has taken the quality to to a new level to have him mixing oh sick yeah send me side note send me that that's awesome i, I didn't will. know that i'll, I'll, I'll send you a, a dm on instagram with our stuff yeah that's awesome that's awesome fantastic yeah, but... okay so ed so ed mixes for all your guys stuff mm -hmm. okay cool and then we'll film the video and we'll get you know get a production company or you know whatever and get kind of things going we'll film the music video um usually in the next few days we get it with pass of it and with color and beauty and then we try to we edit it and we put it up pretty quickly it's like it's not it's not a long super long process um and especially for christmas stuff when we have the christmas videos and we have to do multiple at a time we'll do two shoots in a day like one time we did attention new rules perfect um something else off of that record All in, in one two day. days two days yeah wow. it was like two videos one in the other room one another room the next day another room another room it was so nice <laughs> it's so easy it's like it was super in the flow yeah so it could be days like that or it could be long days or it's like a more extensive shoot like elaborate like the prayers or something like where yeah. you have to build these art sets and make it look like a forest and you know so stuff like that so really depends do you guys use different production companies each time for the videos uh yes yeah, somewhat we'll get we'll get pitched different what are they called my uh, brain's escaping storyboards get, or uh, yeah like concept. we'll pitch their concepts ideas for the videos and we'll pick the one what we want to go for and then we'll use that company usually with that director and, and so it kind of goes that way awesome so you guys use all basically all the same process for the music side but you vary it out for the for the video side yeah because we don't yeah we don't have like a, a set person we use just for the videos okay. side like one person or one it's kind of fun that way too because it keeps it fresh and keeps it different yeah we have different ideas and now too we're thinking like um scott and kirsty people even most recently have been really interested in directing and pitching ideas so we're oh. like so it's and we've actually in this phase, new phase of Pentatonics, we've been doing a lot of singing in the room together, putting it in the DAW, like um, Logic Pro Tools and kind of like going forth and doing it that way. And it's it's really cool. There's there's some like really, really cool stuff um, going to come out in the fall. Um, that's really exciting. That that was arranged that way. Creep is an example of that's out. But that was Scott did that when we were on The Masked Singer. He like did it in oh. the DAW. And kinda, yeah, super Awesome. Super good, super cool awesome. process.